this is Conrad from Motion VFX, and we are back with another tutorial. I'm going to walk you through how to present a logo in a visually striking way. Here's how to do it. Let's start by tracking our scene using mTracker 3D, which can be found in M Extension under the Software tab. Drag it onto your video and click Track. Then click the Copy Track button to copy the tracking data, which we'll paste into the Drop Zone 01 preset. This will serve as the foundation for the next steps. Make sure the title is trimmed to exactly the same length as your video. After pasting the tracking data, we select a spot in our scene where the Drop Zone will be placed. So far so good! Let's move on to the next steps. We bring our logos onto the timeline. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus D to set their duration to match the timing of the scene. Next, we drag them above all other elements and turn them into a compound clip, which we'll use as the input for our drop zone. At this point, we can hide the compound clip by pressing the V key. We enter the compound clip that contains our logos and nest everything again into a new compound clip, which we'll use to apply the effects. Then, we go to M Extension, search for the colorful glow element, and drag it onto our group. Using the published parameters list, we adjust the look of the effect to our liking. As you may have noticed, the glow effect gets cut off at the edges of the screen, so we'll scale down the logos inside the compound clip. This is a very important step, because otherwise the track drop zone would display a cropped part of the image. A few minor adjustments to the appearance of the glow, and then we move on to main scene where we'll adjust the size of the logo. At this stage of the process, we move on to refining the visual side of the composition, adjusting a scale, fine-tuning the glow's appearance, and setting the reflection so that it fits the footage as naturally as possible. Of course, these adjustments will depend on the specific logo used and the video material you're working with. I recommend spending as much time as possible on this step, as it will have a significant impact on the final result. I think we need more lighting coming from the glow of our logo. Let me show you a trick to easily achieve this. I'll duplicate our title and scale it down on the y-axis to create the impression that it's reflecting onto the ground. In the published parameters list, we'll set the Gaussian blur to a high value so that no details are visible, just the impression of light being reflected. I'll take my time and give everything one more polish to make it look just right. I think it's looking good now, but we're not done yet. I want to add more realism to the scene, so I'll focus on particle effects like fog, dust, and so on. I'll find all of these in M Extension, starting with a fog effect. Important note, if I want the fog to be visible from the very first frame, I need to move the layer backward behind all the others. I'll do this using the keyboard shortcut Alt-W, which creates a gap. Then, I'll drag the fog title so it starts earlier than the rest of the composition. Don't worry, later, after wrapping everything into a compound clip, I'll trim the extra beginning so the final composition starts exactly when our video begins. A few minor visual tweaks and our fog is ready. Now I'll do exactly the same with a dust effect floating above the glow of our logo. I think I'll add even more realism to our scene by creating a light reflection on the wall next to our logo. To achieve this effect, I'll duplicate the video, then apply MRoto AI and track the area where I want the light reflection to appear. I'll blur the mask 
so it blends nicely with the rest of the scene, and then begin color grading and adjusting the exposure using the built-in color board tool to make it look like a flickering, colorful light. I'll animate this manually by keyframing the appropriate parameters. It's important to use two separate color boards for animating brightness and color individually. This gives you full control over both aspects of the animation. Right now, I'm doing my best to match the wall color to the color currently displayed on the logo. This is an important step if you care about achieving a realistic look. So take your time. Finally, I'll place everything into a compound clip and as I mentioned earlier, I'll trim the beginning of the composition so that the first frame shows the video with the effect not just a black background with fog as it does currently. I'll also trim the end of the composition so that it matches the exact duration of our original input video. Once that's done, I'll go to M Extension and apply M Film Look to the entire composition. Starting with the Coast preset, I'll tweak it to perfectly match our scene. I'll pay special attention to the placement of the flare, which will create a cinematic streak effect as if the whole thing were shot with an anamorphic lens. I'll also change the LUT to something more filmic, and finally, enable motion blur. That's it! Our composition is complete, and I think it turned out really well. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this.